Hey everyone, and welcome back to Elon Musk Land. The automotive battery business appears to be the explosive grounds for new ideas. Saku Corporation, formed in the United States, has now dropped a major bombshell. The form has developed the world's first 3D printed solid state battery. With electric vehicles being the most major drivers of this technology, how is this going to affect the production and growth of the automobile industry? While lithium ion batteries are mass produced in large quantities and have little value, Saku's revolutionary 3D printed variant promises to be a game changer in the market, with the electric vehicle battery being compacted even further for overall convenience. Lithium ion battery producers had a fantastic year in 2021. With increased production and unending innovations, the year has brought quite amazing surprises. Cat L and BYD Two major battery manufacturers in China announced a sodium ion battery and blade, respectively. They're both cutting edge items with the goal of improving the EV performance. Did you know that Cat L's sodium ion battery promises to be able to recharge up to 80% in just 15 minutes? That's incredible, and it gets even better. It's supposed to be able to perform perfectly in sub zero temperatures as well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the incredible advancements of the solid state batteries that are now going to be made using 3D printing tech. So stick around until the end of the video as you're not going to want to miss out on what we've got prepared for you. But before we start, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you're always informed on the latest updates with Elon Musk. Now let's get into it. Competition is increasing in the battery making industry. Not to be outdone, Tesla is considering the improbable idea of extracting lithium from table salt in the Nevada deserts in order to save money on battery development. But now more than ever, a 3D solid state battery SSB, has the potential to be the next big thing. Many scientists across the world are working to make EV batteries smaller and more energy dense in order to make EVs a more potent force in the vehicle industry. Saku's 3D SSB appears to be the most promising new entrant into the field. With these batteries, the EV industry will boom due to the increased range and reliability. The growth in this sector due to the heavy dependency on batteries has been sluggish, with many people reluctant to join due to the battery problems. But that is about to change because we have big players who've just joined the battery production business. Most surprisingly, we've got a major player who's also playing the underdog but they're now ready to emerge, and we're going to reveal the name in just a few minutes. According to Saku, its battery will be 50% smaller and 30% lighter than lithium-ion batteries. It will also be less expensive to produce in large quantities. While the present capacity is 3 amp hours, research and development is currently underway to improve the output. A trial production line has just been launched by the business, and it illustrates how its 3D batteries will work. Let's see what all the fuss is about with 3D solid state batteries. Before we go any further though, make sure that you understand what an SSB is. In a nutshell, liquid or polymer gel electrolytes are used in conventional lithium ion batteries as well as any other electric battery. A solid state battery combines solid electrodes and a solid electrolyte, which can lead to overheating and potentially short circuiting. The anode of the solid state battery is made up of pure lithium metal. This offers it explosive power and a lightning quake charge time when reducing the risks of overheating. Since 2010, SSB technology has been available, but not used to its full potential. But did you know that the University of Colorado Boulder was the first to achieve a major breakthrough with SSBs? And guess who's been discreetly working in research and development to genuinely make SSB an integral part of electric vehicles? Not Tesla, and not even those well-known electric car manufacturers, but Toyota has been working on SSB tech for electric vehicles since 2012 in a desperate attempt to become a key leader in the EV business. Toyota has announced that they will showcase a prototype electric vehicle powered by a solid state battery by the end of 2021, with the goal of being the first automaker to offer an electric vehicle with a solid state battery. Now, how does Saku fit into this? Well, it's been one of the companies pushing 3D printing tech thus far. Before we get into that incredible breakthrough with 3D solid state batteries, let's take a look at what they've done so far. Did you know that this little tech business has launched a flagship Saku AM platform, which promises to be the world's first multi-material and multi-process additive manufacturing platform for high volume production? Additive manufacturing, or AM, 
is similar to 3D printing, but on a higher level, allowing for the development of lighter, stronger parts and systems. One of the products of this technology is the 3D solid state battery. Apart from being smaller and lighter, Saku's Corporation's innovative 3D battery will either equal or outperform current lithium ion batteries. The company's additive manufacturing platform was also used to build a compact 3 amp hour AH cell, which has the capacity of three AAA alkaline batteries. So, what exactly makes 3D batteries better? In contrast to traditional batteries, Saku's 3D battery cell will use a solid state metal lithium anode and a ceramic electrolyte. Conventional batteries are at a high risk of exploding or catching fire because of this, while SSP is still in its early stages of development because of their great capacity and energy density though, many battery makers see them as the holy grail of batteries. The binder jet printing technology created by none other than MIT will be used in Saku's 3D printing platform. Binder jetting employs a liquid agent deposited into a thin bed of powder particles, and Saku claims that it's going to be able to combine ceramic and metal jetting in a single machine. For the time being, the company is keeping everything secret, even the substance utilized in the printing of ceramic electrolyte. But I'm sure this will be another surprise that will make everyone sit up and take notice. As business chief technical officer Carl Latu stated that the fabrication and technology of the ceramic electrolyte is one of the greatest achievements of everyone working in the solid state battery area. Being tight lipped after such a remark necessitates discretion, because you never know when Tesla's Elon Musk is going to show up at Saku's door with some form of deal. After all, he's the undisputed king of the electric car revolution, and he wants to be at the cutting edge of every possible battery development. Currently, Saku isn't disclosing any performance statistics. By the previous year, Saku had raised the energy capability of its solid-state batteries by a factor of 100, and the volume metric energy efficiency has increased over 10 times. Honeywell will collaborate with Saku to develop their pilot line. They've hinted at ambitions to produce 3D batteries for a variety of industries, including EVs, medical devices, electrical devices, and even aircraft. The development of 3D batteries may be sluggish for the time being, but the end product is a battery that will be 50% smaller than a standard lithium ion battery. That's a huge accomplishment. The battery is presently investigating higher voltage cathodes for a potential 25% increase in energy density. The initial capacity will be a modest 1 gigawatt hour, and this in itself will be a milestone when Saku launches mass manufacturing of solid state batteries. But another company that is hot on the trail of the Saku Corporation is Blackstone Technology a German subsidiary of Swiss corporation Blackstone Resources that has developed a successful solid-state battery prototype, with intentions to build automated 3D printing for liquid electrolyte batteries in the near future. With boasts of multiple advancements and a superior means of printing 3D technology capable of producing solid-state lithium-ion batteries, Blackstone has the potential to disrupt the industry. The business claims to be able to produce 3D solid-state batteries in a variety of shapes and sizes. But what do you think? They demonstrated a significant improvement in terms of battery density and recharge cycles. However, in the SSP race, Toyota and QuantumScape are now neck and neck. You might be wondering how a little corporation like QuantumScape can compete with a giant like Toyota. Well, here's one point that may explain it. None other than Bill Gates himself is sponsoring QuantumScape, which has received over $300 million in funding from Volkswagen and has been awarded the contract to make batteries for all of Volkswagen's electric vehicles by 2025. The major reason why a solid-state battery hasn't reached its full potential yet is because of the fundamental problem with lithium-ion batteries and the accumulation of dendrites or filaments on the anode with each battery cycle. These have a chance of penetrating the electrolyte and reaching the cathode, which might cause an explosion or cause the battery to catch fire in solid-state batteries. That issue is being resolved, which is a significant first step for the organizations that are able to tackle it. Considering how GM had to recall its Chevrolet Volt electric automobiles due to the high voltage battery packs, possibility of causing fires. Even when the problem with solid state lithium ion batteries are resolved, QuantumScape, Solid Power, Samsung, and Saku are among the companies aiming to commercialize such devices, with Saku and Blackstone assigning a schedule for 3D SS batteries of 2022 to 2023. It's going to be fascinating to see such a breakthrough, but if it were to come from someone else, 
it would not be surprising if that someone else happened to be Tesla. You never know what might happen. So what do you think about 3D printed batteries? And do you think that we're going to see any breakthroughs soon? That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.